greeting you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ and Savior from Yama our rural Christian mission in Yama country South East Asia Yama our rural Christian mission seeks to serve the cause of Christ in Yama today Yama has become an important focal point in the interest of Christians from the world. How to begin? I founded the Myanmar Christian Mission in 1994. There was no capital fund for this mission. As our family, we gave a big lead to the board of deacons in my mother church that it would be rare by any of the poorer families who will give back half of the piglets to progress and why our aims the first one might bring how to run the financial source for this mission to run God has been from one of our close relatives who set apart a portion of his monthly income by providing his vehicle business before. Unfortunately, he found it difficult to make regular contribution since the government let him change his truck engine from petrol to CNG gas engine lost a big sum for him and also he could not continue to provide our mission. We have no not sponsor from any organization and denomination until today. The Myanmar Our Rural Christian Mission is non profit interdenominational Christian charity. We are doing the charity care ministry and fostering to the orphans and poor children so that the children those who may be able to polite in their daily life. Chair of you is very important matter that give us concern. The way children are treated, punishing a child without letting him know why he is being punished. I cannot forget about an orphan boy countess who joined our church worship one day. On that day, he looked very happy in his heart when he read the Bible verse and sang gospel songs. Actually, he was trained very well by our co-workers. This boy, Countess, was seven years old as I put his name in my previous prayer request. And his mother, Tusa, a widow, was also happy when she saw her son, Countess, cited some Bible verses and sang gospel songs in front of her. The way of this boy's life in spirit the boy of his mother, Tusa, who came to the church along with her son to hear the good news. The Holy Spirit walked in her mind. She was very happy as she heard the gospel message. She enjoyed coming to the church on Sundays. But her life was pitiful. She had been suffering from serious tuberculosis, DB, and was physically very weak. She could not earn for her daily life after one month. Of course, she knew that she was responsible to take care of his son, yet she could not walk and had no food to eat, no proper shelter to live together with her little son. It was a sad story about the family. 
her husband Hai Sheng was deaf, and one day he was crashed by a train. It was on 13 May 2009. They stay poorly in front of a house on the roadside without proper roof and no sound flow. I knew that she visited homes and beggars for her daily food. Her son counted so was second grade in the school. My heart was deeply touched by this poor widow and her son. I intended to bring this poor widow to the to HIV hospital, but it was too late that the woman had already passed away, leaving behind her little son. Then another story again. I was too late again to take this boy to the orphanage. Sadly, the sisters of disease will do talk the orphan son out of school and put him in a small tea shop as general worker. The life of the orphan countess so became worse. His aunt took in advance from the owner of the tea shop all the wages he would get. In this way, Countess so lost his parents, school education, and work without way. He was still under 10 years. I cannot forget the bitterness of this jail life, becoming often. Then instead of taking care by his aunt, but she took him out of school and ruthlessly abused the way he was on. My heart was deeply touched by the pitiful life of the poor widow and the dark future of the orphan countess who once enjoyed life with us in the church. Who am I then boasting of my life, supposed to be for the sake of Christ? May God bless you all.